It is November 19th and we are talking about honoring unconverted parents in today's daily devotional. Sorry guys if I haven't done this in a while. It's because we've been moving and um, I didn't have time to, to do this. But anyways, we are reading from Pastor Doug Bassler's 365 Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Again, it is November, 20, in November 19th. And today's question is, should we still honor our parents if they are abusive? Here we go. Honor your father and mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. That's in Exodus 20 and verse 12. All of the commandments are reflecting um, of, are a reflection of God's loving character, so I don't believe we can safely ignore any of them regardless of the circumstance. However, we need to understand that uh, what honoring our parents really mean. It doesn't necessarily mean condoning all of their actions. Abuse is any form uh, abu abuse in any form is wrong, evil, and against the principles of scripture. That said, there is a certain uh, inherent respect that should always be shown to a parent. Even when we disagree with them, we can do it respectfully. I do believe that we, uh, where abuse is involved, a person can respect a parent and still take action against that parent. Such as the time King Aza or Aza removed his mother from power because she had set up an idol. That's in Second Chronicles 15 and verse 16. Obviously, if a parent asks you to break one of God's commandments, you should decline. Um, God must be honored above a parent. Sometimes it might be necessary for adult children to keep a distance for a time, especially if the parent continues the abusive behavior or if you're, if you're clashing continuously. Separation is also appropriate when parents are meddling, perhaps trying to uh, interfere in the raising of a grandchild or in the marriage. See Genesis 2 and verse 24. I think that's when it says that the father will, I mean, the husband and wife should cleave together and then that they should be out of, no, actually, let's, let's take, a, take a look at what that says. Genesis 2 and verse 24. Let me, let me give that to you. Let me give that scripture to you. Let me read that scripture to you because I don't want to misquote anything. Genesis 2 and verse 24 Okay, here's what it says. It says, Therefore, yeah, I know it. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. So we should leave our father and, and, and our mother when we are grown and when we get married. Um, however, we should avoid cutting off all ties with our parents if it's possible to retain some type of cordial, cordial relationship. I never want to see you again. Quote, quote, is pretty harsh and usually unnecessary. People change, they change, and we change. As a Christian, you want to have a redemptive relationship and learn how to resolve conflict. Being a Christian means sometimes you have to be kind and loving to people who aren't lovable. Have you guys ever been through that? I have plenty of times. Jesus said, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who specifically use you, or spitefully use you. That's in Matthew 5 and verse 44. Through the grace and power of Christ, the Christian can show mercy even to those who spitefully use them. So that is November 19th. Um, daily devotional. If you guys were blessed by this, please like and share. Make sure to subscribe. Um, I also do this on Instagram, so follow me there too, if you guys want to. That's up to you. Um, that's today. Um, again, guys, thank you guys for watching and for tuning in. Uh, sorry that I haven't been doing this in a while. I know that some of you guys want me, want me to keep doing this and also the uh, reading of the, um, the Bible chapter by chapter. I just haven't had time, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but I believe that we're going to have more time soon after the movie drops 
So that's that. I'll see you guys later. Actually, I'll see you guys on the Discord if you guys want to go there. Peace. Praise God always. See you guys later.